Y'all want to go fishing? Let's go fishing, everybody. Come on, let's go. Hey, everybody. Rob from Female Fishing Fanatics here with your weekly Did You Know segment. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the difference between the black drum and the sheep's head. Uh, I figured I would go into this because yesterday during uh, Tanya's catch, um, I mistaken her sheep's head for a black drum. Now, granted, I was looking through the lid of a camera, so, you know, and it was kind of dark, so I, you know, you know, give, give, cut me some slack, um, but she was quick to, to correct me, and um, that's okay, because, you know what, she knows her stuff, and there is no arguing that. Um, but anyway, so let's talk a little bit about um, um, the differences between the two, because, you know, a lot of times people go and they are out to look for the black drum and they end up catching sheep's head or they're out for sheep's head and they catch black drum. So why is it that they're so similar and why is it that they are hanging out in the same areas? Well, I'm going to do a little reading. So forgive me if my eyes wander uh, away from the camera. It's only because um, I don't know this stuff by heart. So I just kind of thought it would be fun to, uh, to share the differences in the two. So, um, although black drum and sheep's head are both very popular in this area, um, they are different, um, as much different as they are similar. Um, let's start with the sizes of the two. So the black drum can actually grow to become up to and exceed a hundred pounds. I personally have caught one, um, and I don't mind sharing the location. It was on the Cape Fear River. It was the, if you go down the Cape Fear River by, uh, actually if you're at River Lights, and you look down the Cape Fear River, you'll see two power lines, two power poles in the middle of the river. Uh, we were we were anchored um, there and I dropped a, a shrimp. I was actually fishing for yellow belly croakers and I ended up with this massive 40 pound black drum. And uh, uh, when it came up, the, the thump was so loud that you could actually feel it in your chest, and it was actually quite remarkable. Um, but anyway, black drum can get up to 100 pounds. Sheep's head, on the other hand, can rarely get over the 12-pound mark. Um, I have heard of uh, a 20-pounder being caught, but I have not seen pictures. So um, we'll just say that that is a myth. Um, so that's the difference in the sizes of the appearance of them. Um, obviously, whenever they're underwater, um, they have a similar um, look to them, as I mistakenly uh, missed, miss, uh, uh, called one on the video from yesterday. Uh, the black drum are typically silver or dark gray. Uh, a lot of times they're almost black. They have uh, long and cylinder type bodies and they can or may not have stripes. A lot of the bigger ones or some of the older ones will not have stripes um, or very faded stripes. Um, stripes are very um, defined in the smaller drum um, and they also have uh, little goatees. Uh, if you ever get an opportunity, a lot of the fish that are in the drum family will have that uh, uh, goatee look, uh, and believe it or not, even the the sea mullet or the Virginia mullet, which I don't know for a fact, but it has a goatee, but it actually looks like a small drum type fish. Um, the stripes on the um, black drum are more spaced out than the sheep's head. Uh, the sheep's head will have the more distinct and darker black stripes on them. Um, probably why they call them convict fish is because they will consistently have those uh, black stripes. Um, as far as their diet is concerned, the black drum feed on a variety of uh, crustacean um, like shrimp, crabs. They even do small fish and sheep's head are known to just do crustacean, barnacles, uh, oysters, clams, and crabs, which is why they have the human-like teeth, so they're able to crush that, uh, the shells, and uh, be able to digest those. 
Um, so let's talk about what do you do or how do you fish for for each one of them. So with both black drum and sheep's head, um, the sheep's head are generally considered to be a more challenging catch. Um, they are very, um, I'm going to call it a soft bite um, because you have to have a very light action rod in order to catch those guys. Um, Tanya's video yesterday, if you get an opportunity to say it, it was, it was the one that I posted before this one. And uh, you will see that she's actually talking and then she can see the line moving. She doesn't necessarily, well, she feels a tug and then she sees the line moving. Uh, the tug can be deceiving um, because it's a very light tug. Um, but the what, what made her know that she had that fish was the fact that her line was actually moving and she was able to set the hook and successfully bring that fish in. But um, the the sheep's head will come in and actually use the front of its teeth to, to crush those shells on the hook. Um, and they do it very, very softly. So you can't feel it, uh, which the black drone can actually just go in there, just gobbles it down and, and jerks the pole out of your hand. <laughs> so, um, and another reason why they call it the convict fish is because the sheep's head rather uh, the convict fish is because of the fact that they are very soft in their bite and they will take your bait before you even know it's gone. Um, the, the dorsal fins on both are uh, very different. The, the dorsal on the black drum is a very soft fin. Um, kind of hard to explain it um, if you go to uh, um, the app uh, I forgot what the name of the app is but I think it's uh, fish rules it is fish rules um, it, you can actually see a very good picture of both species um, but the black drum has a very soft uh, type of dorsal fin the sheep's head has got a gnarly mohawk looking porcupine um, dorsal fin, which will just tear your tail up if given the opportunity. In fact, that is the product of it. Um, that was just for me cleaning it. So, you know, be careful. So, uh, where can you catch them? So sheep's head are typically caught, uh, they're all over as far as the regions. Now, I saw a picture of a California sheep's head, and it was actually a very, very different color and shape than what we have here at, in, on the East Coast, but um, basically anywhere there's salt water. So the Gulf Coast up through Florida, up the eastern seaboard, uh, are typically where you're going to find your black and white convict uh, sheep's head. Um, they're going to be around uh, places like piers, pylons, bridges, um, rocks and even shipwrecks um, so all you uh, deep sea fishermen out there who like to go check out uh, the reefs um, the sheep's head like to hang out around those uh, those types of uh, areas as well um, they actually are a schooling fish so once the once they know that the uh, food is there for them uh, they will all congregate around that area. Um, black drum, I'm pretty sure that this is pretty much the same way when it comes to um, the, the congregating of the fish. Um, I think the black drum is more um, just a sporadic catch than it is um, drawing them in. So if you have an opportunity to fish for the sheep's head, and uh, have the patience for it. You know, whatever bait you may use, get a little bit extra, crush it up, throw it in the water because they will smell that and they'll come a running. But um, that's about all I have for today. I've got Tanya on the other side of the camera hey uh, looking to looking at me, kind of shaking her head, you know, in agreement with things that I'm saying. So um, did you have anything that you wanted to add to this? 
no, you're right about drawing them in. Um, I'm not as familiar with the black drum, which I should, right? I'm female fisherman addicts. Um, look, all I know is I just catch fish, right? So I know what works and I, for the fish I catch and the fish I love to catch since, God, I don't know. When did I catch that 10 pounder? That was my first, my first sheep said, you guys, was a 10.4, 10.6? 10 10 10.4. Pounder. And apparently that is on the very rare side of, <clears throat> excuse me, larger sheep said. Um, I have been a addicted ever since I want to say it's been 10 years or more um, 2014 I believe and we are in 2023 um, I have been um, hooked should you say <laughs> ever since um, with that particular fish and anything I could do to learn to catch that fish even from from fellow anglers Anything I could do to learn, I learned. I'm never going to say I know more than someone, and I'm never going to make myself out to be something better than someone. And that's another reason I'm posting this is, you know, we have our Facebook page. Join it because I want your feedback. Anything I can do to help you catch these fish and anything you can do to help me catch these fish, let's hook up. Right? Absolutely. Hook. <laughs> hook up. Let's hook up. So, hey, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot. Um, be sure to check out our Facebook page, Female Fishing Fanatics. We'd love to see all your pictures and videos. Um, you know, we can't thank you enough for all the support that we've had so far with this. Um, again, wealth of knowledge on our, on our Facebook page. So if you have any questions um, or you have something that you would like to add, uh, as far as knowledge is concerned, just let us know. We'll be happy to hear it. And, um, you know, until next week, y'all stay safe out there. Tight lines, get bent, and uh, talk soon.